Hi everybody, this is Angelic Grey coming to you at Angelic Soul 11 and I just wanted to do a quick short video for you all because I was being asked like why haven't I been sharing like what's been going on in my dreams or like what do I feel about all of this and truth be told is it's a lot of distractions that's going on from the real revelations and my job is not here to continue to feed you more distractions or illusions but rather allow you to use your proper discernment and utilizing your inner sight your inner knowing to what is happening in these changes a lot of us been trying to manifest a certain lifestyle and you know for one thing to be born another thing has to kind of like die out and is dead for all that feeding illusions the thing is a lot of us are still entertaining that so it's like you know whatever you choose as your reality that's on you um you know when it comes down to the dream world yes i've been getting a lot of dreams in reference to like certain street wars or darkness and this and that but i've also been getting a lot of beautiful dreams as well um that are fully enlightening and motivational and so you know they are those that needed to hear the messages in my dreams are the ones that heard them um i don't necessarily have to go sharing everything with everyone unless it's like spirit is literally guiding me to share these dreams or these um visions or messages with everyone okay so that's one of the reasons why you don't constantly see me posting about these things another thing is like you know yes i'm a latina woman and we have african descent in us and taino and there's so much with the movement but again this is for me this is not about race there it, is it about injustices yes um are there talks about oh is this you know a hoax uh did this was this a stage death you know there was 666 uh you know did he um really get into an ambulance even though uh yeah clearly he got into an ambulance you see an ambulance there but do you see any paramedics that's a whole other story so if you're gonna ask questions be sure you're asking the correct questions um because then you're gonna get answers that are not necessarily lies but you know it's it's not really the answer that you're looking for it's not really the the um revelation you are looking for and so you have to use your discernment and and what questions you ask you know we're talking about this whole black lives matter movements and while it's extremely important for us as a people to remember that yeah while we are kneeling in protest to the you know um pledge of allegiance in a sense our ancestors were black republicans you know if you want to get political so before you take a knee and i'm not listen you take a knee you do what you want to do because i damn sure had my share of detention in school for not doing the pledge of allegiance um you know as a child growing up um and then later in life as an adult i realized it's because well they changed the flag many times well they changed the pledge of allegiance um many times um you know and so the republic in which we stand and a lot of us they we're like oh we're not republican we're democratic and you know we you know us as a minority no we are the majority okay we've been the majority and the black lives matter movement is funded by the fucking clintons that are going through you know they want to put a blackout tuesday when they're trying to black out their court date and you know their testimonies and everything like that from being on social media or on any type of media as it is so what illusions are you feeding that's on you that's not on me to tell you what you should be thinking about what you should be seeing with your eyes those that have eyes to see will see you know those that have ears to listen will listen they will hear you know um and it's not just hearing it's about listening yeah so there's a lot that i don't address because it can lead down to many rabbit holes and i'm not here to further confuse anybody i'm here to be the messenger that i am 
and to deliver the messages that spirit guides me to deliver and if that means doing readings on love or this and that then so be it it's gonna be what it's supposed to be you know there's a lot of things that um you know i might get oh you know be told i'm disrespectful for certain views a belief is a belief and you don't gotta believe anything that i believe i really don't care but a fact is a fact and that remains as is you know and sometimes we got to remember facts over feelings and when things just don't add up stop trying to make them fit where it don't fit so if you're wondering why i don't sit there and post about certain things because i as a sentient being know what it is to be feeling things from the media and from energy itself around places where it triggers um, certain discomforts or um, irritation or irritability or imbalances where I have to like breathe easy and be like wait a minute is this what angelic is really feeling or is this an energy I'm picking up that has a message in it and my job here is to help you learn to discern between what is really yours and what is something that you are picking up energetically to channel as a message to do something with that to either transmute it transform it transmit it um channel it or if you're just gonna completely let it go this is the same with ideas and creativity here okay this is not to create blockages and get caught up on the energies that's around and and making everything absolutely personal to you a lot of the times what the media is is putting out there is for you to um add on to the energies and the thing is many of us are taking things very personal and it is not personal the only thing that is personal is your em what is your emotion telling what is the message what is in you is personal everything that is happening around you is not personal to you it is only amplifying what is already in you so that you can deal with yourself to make a difference that's all i want to say for whoever this message needs to be i really hope that you tap in take time for yourself stop taking everything so literal and so personal to you because of things that happen to you and your life and really think about wait a minute because you know what whether it was stage or not this is what's going on and this is what's in the media and this is the energy that's there and regardless of what is trying to be fed you have the power to accept and receive whatever it is that you want to keep into your consciousness into your emotional body into your mental body into your physical body in your spiritual body you have that free will utilize it do not forget who you are you are in charge submit to yourself submit to your truth and be in the center of self and know beyond the veil okay i love you i thank you i hope this video helps you and until next time peace